Hi guys, welcome back to another video continuing our eucalypt series. Today I wanted to show you two eucalyptus neglecta, um, these little two straggly little trees in front of me. They are not the most commonly planted, um, but they are quite interesting. Um, so first of all, they are small trees as you can see here. This one is probably, um, I'm really bad at estimating height but maybe five to seven meters tall and like 20 up to 20 feet here in front of me um but yeah um, again i'm really bad at up <laughs> at estimating height um some interesting features is that um the tree does shed its bark and the upper branches are smooth um but you can see some of the bark that's remaining uh, hanging on to it. One of the distinctive features of this one is this highly glaucous juvenile leaf that lasts for quite quite long time. Um, as you can see most of the canopy even if they are in reproductive phase like the one flying right in front of the camera um, and over there they are still in juvenile phase or in their juvenile leaves rather. Um, if you go really up you might see the leaves start to transition. Um, I don't think that's that obvious on camera. Let me see if I can find one that is um, lower so I can get closer to it. Ha! There you go. Um, as you can see, the leaves here becoming are becoming altern alternate. Um, another feature is that the new leaves are always pretty glaucous um, and at the leaf ages, um, you see they lose their Glaucusness, if that's even a word, and become just green and dull. Dull, not in the sense that's boring, it's just not shiny or glossy. Um, the flowers are in this um, clusters of, I think, um, 7 to 11 or something like that. Um, I can't really count anymore, um, so ignore that. Um, but they don't really have a, they have a very short pedestal or they don't really have a pedestal or even peduncle. So you see those clusters are just really tight uh, grabbing onto the stem. A really useful feature for this species is that they are, even though they're not from the coldest areas in Australia, they're quite cold hardy. I've seen people talking about planting them in the southeast, uh, like up to zone. 8 A, even 7 B, and them surviving the winter. I once saw a video on YouTube of someone filming uh, Eucalyptus neglecta in Virginia that kind of survived the winter. Um, they do have lignotubers, so if the if the above ground part freezes, it can bounce back theoretically as long as their root don't as as long as the roots are suffering too much um, cold damage. Um, so that's first. Um, the other feature is that most eucalypts are sun lovers. Uh, eucalyptus neglecta, however, can tolerate half shade. Um, I believe in its natural natural environment, it's kind of a understory species, hence the speed, the shade tolerance. But of course, I think full sun, no problem. It just does a little bit better in shade than some of the other eucalypts. Um, it doesn't grow quite as fast as, say, Eucalyptus globulus, which there are plenty in the background here on, on Stanford campus. Um, but yeah, it's a quite interesting species. Um, was there anything else? Oh yeah, one more thing. So, a fun fact, um, I think the word neglecta, uh, the name actually means it was neglected or something like that. Um, it's not really closely related to any of the many of the other species um, so it's it's it is own in its own series or group um, but it's quite an interesting tree so there you have it eucalyptus neglecta hope you like it see you next time